right, welcome back to Shivering Timbers Dojo. We are going to continue with our Donzenru deep dive into the water techniques. Today we are going to work on Ryote Hezushi and Morote Hezushi. That is both hands escape and many hands escape. So a couple of double grips. I'm going to do some deep dives because we get some questions on these not infrequently about, gee, that looks silly. Why would you do that? So we're going to try and answer some of those questions. And show you some of the fun things you can do to make these work for you. So again, uh, it's from wrist control. This is a little more serious instead of a single hand. Now they've got both hands or both on one and we're just going to try and work our way through that. So without further ado, we start with Ryote Hizushi double hand technique. All right, Ryote Hizushi, both hand escape. So okay, grabs with both hands. It's very simple. Out, in, hey, out. Okay, now, let me break this down. So she grabs me. First thing that happens is I'm gonna lower my center of gravity and push out. The reason I'm pushing out is because if somebody's actually grabbing you, again, no one just stands there and lets you do what you wanna do. So if I push out, she's gonna resist and push in. Great, she did exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you very much. She did my work for me. So again, out, back in, now. She's not going to let go. Because again, when somebody grabs you, they don't want to let go. They want to grab you. Got me. Oh, she's got me. She's huge. She's scary. So again, I want to move back. I'm protecting my water. I'm protecting my center line. Why don't they just kick you in the nuts? Yeah, they might. So I'm going to move back. And I'm going to stretch her arms out. Where her arms are stretched, she is weak. Where my arms are close to me, I am strong. I put my elbow out. Elbow to elbow. Oh, look. She cannot hold on. And hi! And then we strike. So again, we come in, we come out, or sorry, we come out, we come in, we're back, we rotate. All right? Common mistakes. Come in, come out, pull. Well, I've just pulled her to me. I didn't actually do anything. She still got a hold of me. Ah, and if I'm unlucky, she will kick me. Oh, I am unlucky today. So when I come out, I come in, I step back, I protect my center line, and I've made that nice. And then I'm already wound up right there. Other side, I come out, in, I step back. I've got those arm, her arms are extended. My whole body, my whole considerable body versus this one joint right here, pop, right off. Boom, come right back in. Okay. So when we do the grips and we grab and we step out and we come back together, we want to grab like this or we want to grab like this. See two best friends like here, like this is okay. Oh, I can't get that apart. If she grabs like this, I can kind of get it apart. It's difficult. If she grabs the other way, oh yeah, oh, I got thumbs on either end. It's very difficult. The one way we do not wish to grab is we don't interlace our fingers. Now you're thinking, well, that's a fairly solid grip. Why don't we do that? Because I can smash this and it hurts. Now, if she grabs me and I do this and she tries to smash my fingers, yes, that's very difficult. She is small, I am huge, yes. But if you are smaller and weaker than your opponent and you should just assume that you're always going to be smaller and weaker than your opponent. I don't care how big you are, there's always somebody bigger and meaner and nastier out there. Always. So, when she grabs, she doesn't interlace the fingers because then, like, I can squeeze on that all day. And while it is uncomfortable, it is certainly not mashing the knuckles together. So, all right, so let's talk about cheating. We've talked about cheating with other moves, how we put things in our favor, don't necessarily play nice. One of the ways we can do that with this is, you know, you can, of course, kick, you know. But the very first move we do is we're cheating. We're, we're coming out, and they're pushed back in. They don't want you to move out. They're going to grab you. They don't want you to fight it. So if you fight it, fight it, fight it, oh, they've already done the work for you. They can't stop me from stepping back. Here, let's reverse it. Let me, let me stop you from stepping back. I can't stop her from stepping back. Now... She has to work to get that elbow up. She has to work for that torque. She's going to put her whole body versus it. And it's very hard for me to fight that. And if I am worried about fighting just that grip, well, good gosh. 
Now I'm not hitting her. Now I'm not throwing her. I'm worried about holding on my grip. The fact that she has me concentrating on what she wants me to concentrate on is a bonus in her favor. Now there's one more way we can cheat for you ladies out there. We can come in here, stab down with the fingers real quick and come up. For you ladies, if it's a guy grabbing you, absolutely useful to know the stab. Secondarily, if it's a lady grabbing you, I don't care. It still hurts. There's a lot of sensitive nerve endings down there. So when we come in and put the hands together, you can give a quick poke just to get them stepping and moving and not thinking about what you're about to do, which is escape. So if she comes and does that to me. Absolutely. I'm worried about that coming. I don't want people hitting me there. <laughs> and so little person, big dude, I fight a lot less hard when I'm worried about getting hit in the groin. Is the, is the groin hit a fight under? No, it's not. No, and you're not going to, you know, rule the day just by poking them in a sensitive spot, but you will make them move. You will make them react. And again, we work on the eye dot, the space between spaces. So the space is here. Ah, that's right. the space right here. When I move, she's already getting out. She's moved on the space between spaces. She's moved in the eye dot and created herself an opening. So, once again, she grabs, I come out, get my center body down, I get my body weight down, I bring my hands together, I bring them to me, I step back, and I use the lever, that elbow, lever up, and come back in and strike, body weight down, my center of gravity is nice and low, I get my hands together, I come up, push her off, bam! Come back and hit. So, Moyote Hizushi. Thank you. All right, Morote Hizushi. This is the many hand escape. So, she comes up and she grabs both hands. Everybody always asks, why don't I just punch the guy? And that's a fine question. All right, Morote Hizushi. Many hand escape. The question is, why don't I just punch him? Master Kim of Ameritote has a wonderful video of a hundred things to do from a wrist grab and then finally ends it with, why not just punch him? And he's right. Absolutely. If somebody grabs you, you absolutely can punch them. But you have to ask yourself a couple of things. One, is that punch going to work? Are you good enough to gain control of the situation with one face punch? Are you good enough to get out of their grip with one good hit. You might be. And if so, do it. There's nothing keeping you from doing it. However, in life, things rarely go our way. And so if she's going to punch me, honestly, nobody's going to stand there and take it. They're going to pull. They're going to pull you off balance. And pulling somebody off balance and pushing them and controlling them makes things much more difficult to throw a punch from. So understand while we are in class learning these things, we are in a learning environment, we are in a beginning environment, we stand here, our opponent grips us, and we do the move. That is not to say that everybody is ever going to stand still. So, you've... so Morote Hazushi. This one's the camera can see. She grabs, I come up over, I drop the elbow right here, grab my own hand, I step out with the same foot. Rotate. Oh, I got you. you got, oh, she got me now. <laughs> and I come in just like this. And they come right back out. You can't hold on. Now understand, that elbow coming over is the strike. I just didn't punch. I threw an elbow instead. And I got inside. Because if she pulls me, I can still get in there. And that's a lot harder to pull somebody when they're pulling an elbow right up against their breastbone. Come on, pull. It looks like far more difficult, and then it's far easier to step back out. So from the back, it simply looks like this. I step in, I step out, boom, and I take the attack to her. So, remember, cheating on this one is as you come in, drop that elbow. You want to drop it on their sternum, but she's going to hit here first. Boom, drop it all the way down. I want to move my head. I don't like that. And she's out. Hi. Again, she cheated because... As she came into me, ugh, dropping that elbow on me, she's hitting me with the elbow. That is our strike. Why don't I just punch him? Sure. Why don't I just elbow him? And that is exactly what's happening right here. The elbow is 
your strike. Camarote position. So again, one more time. He's going to step in, come right in, come right out. Excellent. Uh, yeah, this one. Boom, 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 yes. Boom, boom, and we get a nice rhythm going here. And we can practice this over and over. Again, the strike is the elbow. We are hitting them. If somebody is foolish enough to grab you and pull you, oh, <laughs> that elbow in the chest will stop you pretty cold. So, Morote Hazushi, many hand escape. Many hands on one hand. I step in to stop any further shenanigans. I come right back out. I step in, grab my own hand. I step right back out. All right, so that was Ryote Hazushi, both hand escape and Morote Hazushi, many hand escape. Again, both are good examples of somebody trying to control you through your wrist. Again, uh, as we go further, uh, the next few moves, you're going to see that we do not grab this wrist as much, but some nice things you can start to see where we use our body weight, where we lower our center of gravity, where we're using our motion to, to create control where somebody has grabbed us. And like I said, as we go further in the boards, you will use that. You will use the point where you lower your body weight. You lower your center of gravity. You make sure that that is balanced and set so you can continue on the moves. We're going to see more of that as we go. So here at Shivering Timbers Dojo, uh, this has been the first four moves of Yawara. Uh, so far we've covered Katate Hizushi Ich, Katate Hizushi Ni, Ryote Hizushi, Morote Hizushi. We'll bring you some more. Hope you keep watching. Hope this helps you learn a few things or, you know, maybe a different look at something you already know. And again, as always, you know, y'all keep training, keep practicing. And if you don't like what I'm doing out here, come work with me. Show me better. I'll love it. All right. Thanks a lot.